The Boeing 767 was developed in the 1970s, with several variants introduced throughout the 1980s and also the 1990s. Given that the 767 relies on a 40-year-old design and 1980s engine technology, it isn't as fuel-efficient or capable as a modern jet. Nevertheless, it still remains a popular choice for cargo airlines, and Boeing has a substantial backlog for the 767 family split between cargo and military variants. Now, before the pandemic occurred, Boeing was studying the feasibility of a 767 MAX, of upgrading the largest 767 model, the 767-400ER, with new GENX engines. The GENX is about 15% more fuel efficient than the prior generation engines found on the 767. To accommodate the larger diameter engine, the X design would include an extended landing gear. For now, Boeing is primarily looking at building the X for the cargo market. In addition to consuming less fuel than the 767-300 freighter that Boeing builds today, the X would also have room for more cargo. However, a passenger variant is also on the table and could be well suited to the mid-range international routes. Now, the executives over at Boeing has insisted that the company has not abandoned the 797 feasibility studies. But while the 797 would be a superior plane relative to the X concept, the latter would be introduced sooner, most likely around 2025, at a much lower cost. It does seem like the X project is the no-brainer for Boeing. While development costs would be lower than the 797, the price tag would still run into the billions of dollars, and the resulting product would then offer the game-changing economics of the 797 concept. As a result, Boeing might remain at a competitive disadvantage in terms of addressing the middle-of-the-market segment. By contrast, the X represents pure upside for General Electric. We know that GE already designed a great engine in the GE NX, and is producing them at a high rate for the 787 Dreamliner and to a lesser extent the 7478, bringing down manufacturing costs. Adding a third aircraft to the mature engine type will lead to additional sales, which would further drive the long-term growth of GE. Now, the 737 MAX crisis has increased the likelihood that Boeing might develop the X rather than the 797 for two main reasons. First reason is, is that the 797's timeline has slipped. The management have shifted their attention on getting the 737 MAX back in the air, and the certification process for the new aircraft is likely to get much tougher. The X represents Boeing's best shot at getting the 767 replacement ready within the time frame that customers demand. Secondly, the reputational damage to the 737 MAX means that Boeing should prioritise development of an all-new replacement for the 737 family. The company is unlikely to take on two major development projects at once, and waiting for the 797 to enter into service in the late 2020s to ramp up work on the 737 MAX replacement would be unwise. Even if Boeing decides to go ahead with the 797 program, it could still pursue the X as a cargo-only upgrade for the 767. The addressable market would be smaller, but it would not be insignificant. If the X concept becomes a reality, then it will be a huge win for GE, driving further growth for its high-margin aviation business with minimal upfront costs and risks. So as Boeing manages the pandemic, both of these projects will be delayed as Boeing tries to cut costs and focus on pressing issues. Final tests and deliveries of the 777X aircraft could also be delayed to a worldwide slump in demand for wide-body aircraft. So, Airbus, like Boeing, has also been forced to put a number of their projects on hold due to the pandemic. They've already scrapped their plans for a hybrid electric flight demonstrator that they were working on with Rolls-Royce, and their development on other green aircraft concepts is at a slower pace than normal. And they've also tabled the development of potential freighter versions of the A330neo and the A350. So captains, we'll just have to wait and see what Boeing does next but there definitely is a market for the MAX version of the 767. So do let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Boeing should pursue the 767 MAX or do you think they should just leave it at the moment? Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys very soon.